Merck, we kind of know what the, this team's overarching goal for the season is, but do you guys have some maybe day-to-day, game-to-game kind of goals that you want to see out of, out of this group? I think individually we all have goals for us, like what we want to get out of each other. I think right now it's just the young guys, are, their goals are they want to learn and want to win, and our goals are we want to make sure we set the right example for the young guys. Not just talking about on the court, but off the court too. And right now, I think our main goal is going into the month of October with so many new faces and getting to know each other. I think uh, that's one thing I think we've been lacking on in the la- in the past couple of years was getting to know the young. I mean, getting to know new guys and getting to know each other. Really, uh, I think we all could improve on that. Uh, you know, I think. I can get better with knowing guys. Uh, I told myself coming into this year, I want to do a better job of getting to know, getting to knowing Serge, getting to knowing Steven outside of basketball. Uh, find out, I just want to go deep into their personal life because I think that it carries over onto the court. Kendrick, it looks like you slimmed down a little bit. What did you do in the off season in terms of physical? Uh, I just train. Uh, Worked hard, changed my diet. Um, I ended the season last year at like 298. So I said I wanted to come in the training camp at 275 and I weighed in at 276 today. So that's what I wanted to play at. Um, felt like in going <clears throat> going down any less than that, I'd lose, you know, what I do best, banging in the post. So I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to get tossed around. How's the quad? How'd you hurt it? And, and how long do you expect to, to miss? Well, quad is fine. I um, think I might be out for another two or three weeks for us getting back on the court. Um, I heard it training. So every time I finish workouts, I always run me a couple of down and backs. And I was running the down and back. I ran down, I was coming back. And next thing I know, I just I felt it. Couldn't run no more, so it's a crazy accident, but it happened. You mentioned Serge, and you've seen him progress the last few seasons. Do you expect even bigger things from him this season on the court? I expect, yeah, I do. Um, just, I expect bigger things out of a lot of people, so including myself. So I think a lot of people went out and got better, but I expect a lot more out of Serge. Um, more so, I don't think it was Serge necessarily with his game, overall game. I think it's more so his mental. And I just wanted to see if he growed and matured in those ways for us just thinking. Uh, you said that you lost some weight. Are you looking at some of the star players in the league, though, like uh, LeBron and, and like Carmelo, they've trimmed down. Uh, is there something to that? What's, up, what's with that trend right now? Well, we're getting older. Um, that's, that's one thing. I mean, I came in the league with those guys and it's our 12th year. And, I mean, I'm about to be 30, so you getting older, you got to start, you know, watching what you eat. And I don't know LeBron reason for doing it because he's, what, 250, 260 with probably 3% body fat. So, but, you know, you get older, you try to find ways to stay in the league longer. That's the way I think. Yeah, Kendrick, you're talking about getting older. It's going to reach the point where you're not going to be able to play as long as you, as much as you have. Probably not start anymore. When that day comes, will you be able to handle that mentally? Uh, are you ready for that when that when that occurs? Um, yeah. I mean, I don't have no choice. I mean, I didn't spend a third of my life in the NBA, and I've been blessed to be able to start for about ten years straight now. Um. I'm 30. I feel like I could play. I feel like I can play with the league, how the league is right now, and in the way I think, and way to, in the way. And it's no knock on some of the younger guys that's coming into the NBA overall, but I feel like they don't have the brains that I have. Um, and I feel like when you have the brains to play, if you have the brains and a high basketball IQ, you could play as long as you want. Um, and I just feel that way. Do you feel like it will be a position battle this camp with Steven? I mean, going into the, to be honest with you, going into the season, I think 
going into the training camp, except for KD and Russ, is always a position battle. So every year I go into a train, every year I go into training camp. If you're not, you know, the hundred million dollar guys, it's always a position battle, in my opinion. So I always approach training camp like that, and that's just the way I feel. Kendrick, we've always talked. You've been close to KD. Talked about leadership and, and so on. And I was wondering when he decided not to play for Team USA. Um, did you have any any reaction to that? Just you know, it, it's it's been through a lot from that first round when losing Russ that whole year, last year's playoffs. Did you feel like it was good for him to get away? Yeah, it was. Um, he had actually texted me before he actually made it public that he was go. You know, take a step back from me, and he asked me what I thought about it, and I was like, I think it's the best for you. I mean, KD did a lot, especially to start the season. He carried the load when Russ was out, um, was averaging a lot of minutes, playing a lot of, he played a lot of time on the court, and then going into the season, he, he kept it going. You know, to win his MVP, then he played at a high level, and we've been playing for damn near the June every year since I've been here. So I think it's well deserved. Yeah, Kendrick, you guys added a couple of pieces look like would be uh, nice additions. But uh, have you reached a point where it's not about adding right pieces and, and winning the summer? Is it more just about how you play once the season gets here and once the postseason gets here? I agree. Um, I don't think it's – to me, I, I don't think <clears> – <throat> And like big pieces to our team go change our team. I feel like we had a talent. I always say it's all about how fast we go grow up, um, how fast we gonna mature, and how fast we gonna be willing to sacrifice. And my thing is, is that when I was in Boston. I played with a few Hall of Famers, but they was towards the end of their career, and so they didn't have a problem with sacrifice. Well, now you have guys like KD and Russ who they're in their prime. You got Serge who trying to make a name for himself for us with the all-star type of, you know, trying to make an all-star game. So it's kind of hard to, like, ask them to sacrifice, especially before the all-star break. But the thing is, is that if we want to get to where we're trying to go, and you watch San Antonio who won it all this year, they sacrificed from the beginning to the end. And... They play the same way all the time. They play right all the time. They trust everybody on their team all the time, 1 through 15. You look in the finals this year, I mean, Tim Duncan played a major role, and Tony Parker played a major role, obviously, in Ginobili, but other guys, the guys that stepped up, Kawhi Leonard won their finals MVP. Boris Diaw was a problem. He was a problem for us, and then you had Patty Mills, who you you watch some of the game. Popovich, a sub, uh, West, I mean, Tony Park out the game, and he'll roll with Patty Mills at crucial times of the game. And Tony Parker was fine with that. I think that's the level that we got to get to. But I think it, we can't turn it on in actual April or turn it on in March. It got to start now. So that way everybody could trust and everybody could believe in each other, and we could go into the postseason with confidence. Perk, it's a contract year for you this year. How does that change your approach? Did it change your approach and slimming down the summer? And, and how do you look forward through the season knowing that? Well, I mean, I'm 30, and this is my 12th year, but I, I mean, I don't feel like I'm just an old man. And I got individual goals, and I worked hard this summer. And the main thing, every time I hit the court this summer, I was just thinking, I actually watched a lot of film on myself. None from the days of being in Oklahoma City. All days of being in Boston. Because I just felt like I needed to get my confidence back. So I played a lot of basketball, and I just watched a lot of film. I just kept telling myself that I need to get back to playing on how I used to play in Boston. And that's all I keep telling myself. So, you know, it's just what my drive is. Perk, you saw uh, James Harden go through his contract situation. Reggie's kind of in the in the same contract year. What advice would you give to him? Uh, make the right decision for Reggie. 
um, especially with a guard, um, very seldom you can get, you know, what you can. You know, you got to maximize what you can get. You know, at the end of the day, you still he still have to think about Reggie, even though we would love him to be here and we would love him to get it done. He still have to think about Reggie, but, you know, Sam will figure it out.